Um, big up Chappelle Lacey. Congratulations to Chappelle. I saw his post on Reddit earlier, so I thought I'd kind of feature it here on the pod regarding um, him being made a paid regular at flipping um, the comedy store. I think I'm saying it right, right? It's called paid regular. I'm pretty sure that's the term of it, which basically means you get spots there all the time and you get paid, right? So essentially, he's got his name um, penciled in outside of the comedy store where they have all the people uh, who've been, you know, passed at the comedy store, names ingrained. This is pretty cool for him because you have to imagine with his association with Brendan Schaub and all those years of him being essentially the, I would say, human Labrador of that office at the time, right? Just laughing and giggling at absolutely everything. For some reason, it kind of made me furious, maybe because he's black and I kind of felt like he was shucking it up to the white man. Who knows? But maybe it's just his personality as well because, you know, some people are just genuinely quite giggly and find life to be quite humorous in any way shape or form so maybe that's just genuinely his own personality but the one thing i had to give him guy credit for is that he did quickly see the you know he quickly was able to see it kind of sense what was going on and made moves he didn't wait around he didn't kind of wait for handouts he didn't hang on for the money and stuff. He kind of quickly cut ties with Brendan and moved on and hasn't looked back. He's the one person, again, similar to Theo, who has never come back to do like a guest show, hang out with them, pop in, check in, nothing. He's completely excommunicated himself from, you know, Brendan and that crew. And it's no surprise that he's become way more successful and he's clearly thriving doing his own thing without standing next to flipping you know brendan and brian and stuff and soaking in their toxicity don't get me wrong maybe in general him doing the whole show the tfax show with um what's his name uh, malik b and stuff during the pandemic was maybe a good move because there probably wasn't a lot going on and he doesn't strike me as the most technically computery savvy type of good dude um so maybe he just didn't know how to set up his own podcast do his own thing get his own channel popping so maybe getting on a tfk already established platform and using that to kind of signal boost and get yourself out there was a good move because if you remember early on when tfk happened when the whole brian callan got cancelled happened for you know being accused of rape and shit um brendan went out and obviously was trying to have different guests on the show to fill in that seat then he stumbled across Chappelle and Malik and kind of made it T-Fat K Kids or whatever it was, right? T-Fat K with a Z on the end. And the premise behind it was it would be Brendan and those two guys, right? Chappelle and Malik. And if you remember the earlier reviews, and if you go even some of the early videos, you'll see a T-Fat K when it was Malik and Chappelle, the comments were pretty favorable. Everyone was quite fond of the show. They actually liked the chemistry between them because for once you got to see two guys kind of take the piss out of Brendan. Like they were kind of having their own little inside joke, laughing at certain things. And Brennan was kind of on the outside. They kind of made him feel way more white than he probably does day to day. So that was quite fun. And it was quite cool to see because, you know, Brennan is not usually the most open to self-deprecation or being the fucking, you know, um, or being the fucking, uh, or being the one that's, you know, the, it being one everyone's kind of laughing at. So it was kind of cool to see. And the dynamic kind of worked, but over time, you know, it kind of run its course. But then ended up getting annoyed at Malik. They probably had a falling out. Don't know what it was about, but something happened. And then eventually he got fired and only Chappelle was left around. But then he eventually ended up leaving too once Brian came in. But props to him for bouncing when he did, because ju judging by his Instagram, he's only gone up and up and up. He seems to be hanging around with all the, you know, influential, important people in the flipping hardcore scene, in the live music scene, in the skateboarding scene. He seems to really have carved his kind of own lane in that regard. Those guys really kind of respect him, which is great to see. And obviously in the comedy world, he's clearly getting to um, do his own thing as well and kind of forge his own path. And he's clearly a bit of a legit comic because even if you see his specials, no, his little like, you know, bits that he put out and that, I've seen a couple of them and he's pretty decent as a stand up, I'm not going to lie. Obviously not all for me, but you can clearly see he's got something. You can clearly see he works at his craft. Clearly see he takes it seriously. And it's good to see him get past on the comedy store and be rewarded for that hard work. And most importantly, for kind of going after it and not just kind of hitching his wagon to, you know, Thick Boy and Brendan Schaub and shit, because that was always only going to go one way. So big up special, um, Chappelle for that. So let's um, read the caption. It says here, the caption, in 2013, I quit comedy due to a loss that messed me up pretty bad. 
I think that's loss of his brother. I think he mentions it quite often. So R.I.P. to his brother. He says, I will try to get on stage from time to time, but comedy couldn't help me climb out of that sadness. I eventually lost all desire to touch the stage. After letting myself sit down and learn how to walk through life again, I found myself back on stage in 2016. I, the contest, sorry, the constant care I give to my soul has led me to doing some dope things. This being one of them love to the comedy store for welcoming me into his home so big up him he's got his pointing at his name there outside the comedy store next slide features him going out on the comedy store and you can see him performing in front of a packed crowd so big up Chappelle for finally making it in that regard and obviously you know credit to him as well for stepping away from T5K when he did and kind of realizing it was a sinking ship and it wasn't doing him any, any favors kind of get, got the most out of it when he needed it and then kind of bounced when he needed to be and again it was surprising for me because he came across like a bit of a dummy on the show I'm not gonna lie um maybe he kind of played up to it um, you know that's a smart thing to do I literally can't do that that's probably one of the things I've realized about myself and why I probably haven't been as successful in my kind of um little scene or niche when i was coming up in sneakers and street wear and design and fashion all that sort of stuff like that ability to like be like the human labrador around people and be the human laugh track for people and kind of make them feel comfortable and make them feel like they're the center of the universe and they're incredibly funny important and that you you're just honored to be in their presence i could never do that i could never flip and do that so it's really important it's really cool to see that somebody when they can do it it works out in their favor because it's proof that there's a way to do it well and i feel like Chappelle did do it well um don't get me wrong it kind of came across a bit weird in the beginning he kind of looked at him a bit strange he kind of felt like his you know maybe accusations of being a what's that what, what does flocker say like a coon will maybe be there but all in all the long game was there in it so he, he got proved right in the end and it kind of worked out for him and you know since then he's only been going up and up so you can only kind of give this guy props for kind of figuring it out um i wonder if you're brendan if you look at him and be a little bit jealous i wonder because essentially brendan got a in got kind of an in to the comedy store via joe rogan and all those guys and he never got passed. He was never really invited on there. He was always kind of invited to perform at the comedy store because of his friends, not because of his ability to be funny. So I wonder if you're Brendan, would you have any malice in your heart, any jealousy in your heart for Chappelle being passed at the comedy store? Would you? I'm not too sure. But has he mentioned it? That's the thing you have to think about. Has Brendan mentioned the fact that his close friend, Chappelle, got passed at the comedy store? Has he mentioned that? probably not that'll be a good indication of you know the levels of appreciation and lack of jealousy that are there but i think it's pretty sick to see it's like an uche is saying it's like it's every single person has gone on to do bigger and better things after leaving thick boy and this is the name of the game and it probably is a weird kind of claim for fame for brendan i'm sure he probably sits there and thinks yeah i'm gonna take credit for it but i would also be a little bit concerned if everybody around me once they left 10x their career but mine seems to be stagnating because maybe brendan isn't you know there's this obsession i think with the fire and the kid subreddit guys where they kind of are wishing and hoping it gets to a point where brendan is working like a regular job or something that's never gonna happen let's just put that to bed never ever ever he's got rich parents and stuff or a rich dad essentially who's made millions in the software industry and shit and probably is invested in loads of things and having i think i heard a clip of him that was posted on the final kids already actually of him on a podcast and he sounds incredibly intelligent like brennan's dad is like really smart really sharp so clearly i would assume someone like that you know did well with their money put it in certain places and shit and make sure you know all these kids are looked after so there's never going to be a chance where he's ever going to work a regular job so anyone who find a kid or fans out that thinking that not going to happen um so if that's the case i don't know why i ever brought that up. whatever i don't know why i brought that up <laughs> i don't know why i brought that up. my brain's gone clear i'm doing a joy ideas i brought up something i have no idea why i brought it up why did i bring that up for uh, it doesn't matter anyway congratulations to Chappelle. i appreciate you well done you smashed it mate um God wants to do big and bright things and hopefully we'll see a special from this guy very soon and if there is a special i'll definitely will be reviewing it on here and giving my analysis and stuff because it's nice to see a fellow brother out here doing some big things his way and whatnot it's nice to see that it's nice to see that <laughs>